Watu tunakushukuru kwa sababu kweli kuna mengi ambayo umetutendea hata maneno peke yake hayatoshi siku ya leo tunaposema wewe ni Ebenezer tunaomba tunapoketi kulisikia neno lako tunaomba neno lako lipate nafasi mioyoni mwetu roho mtakatifu wa Mungu tufundishe mapenzi ya baba na ili bwana tukaweza kuyajua na mioyo yetu ikajawa na shukrani naomba neno lako likaandikike mioyoni mwetu likaishi kuwa msaada roho mtakatifu tunakukaribisha na ni katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini amen tunaweza kuketi mbele za bwana mchana wa leo nimeokoka kristo yesu ni bwana na mokozi wa maisha yangu tutaenda moja kwa moja hadi kwa neno la Mungu ambalo uh, theme yake ni ya kwamba Samueli akalichukua jiwe akalipanda na akasema ya kwamba umbali huu ni Mungu ametuleta so the theme of our message today is Ebenezer this far the Lord has brought us uh, ni ya muhimu pia kukumbuka ya kwamba tulikuwa tunaliangazia hili neno pia last week kwa sababu tulikuwa tunasherehekea miaka mia moja tangu Women's Guild ilipoanzishwa na pia hili neno ndilo tutakalo litumia siku ya leo tukiangalia umbali ambao Mungu wetu ametuleta tumesomewa somo la kwanza na huo ni wakati ambao kama vile mchezo wa wamama umekuwa congratulations wa mama kumbe kuna watu mpaka wanaweza kubali kukuwa kuact pande ya ngombe na waseme tu vizuri hivyo tu thank you wametoa wametoa hiyo scripture vile iko ya kwamba wakati ambalo sanduku la agano nimerudi katikati ya waisraeli na ikawa ya kwamba mahali ambapo tumesomewa uh, kwa wakati huo ambao sanduku lilirudi lilikaa mahali palikuwa panaitwa Kiriath Jearim kwa miaka ishirini na Samueli akawaongelesha akawaambia turudieni Mungu kwa mioyo yetu yote na wakaenda pamoja katika ule mlima wa Mizpa mahali ambapo walikuwa wanatubu dhambi zao wanamlilia Mungu na ili Mungu akaweza kuwarehemu na walipokuwa pale katika ule mlima tunaona ya kwamba wafiristi wakaja kupigana nao na nikawaambia wale tulikuwa nao asubuhi shetani huwa hachoki kuwajaribu watu wa Mungu kwa sababu hao hao wafiristi ndio walikuwa wamepigwa na mapigo mengi na Mungu kwa sababu ya kulichukua sanduku la agano lakini hawa kuchoka kupigana na Waisraeli ingawaje walishindwa mara ya kwanza na wakarudisha lile sanduku bado walikuja kuwapiga pale walipokuwa wakitafuta Mungu katika mizpa lakini Mungu wetu huwa hapeani ushindi mara moja kama alikupigania last time hata this time atakupigania praise the name of the lord mradi uko katika upande wa Mungu majaribu ya wenye haki ni mengi lakini Mungu huwa anawaokoa nayo yote na ndivyo tunaona katika mizpa wakati ambapo uh, wafiristu wamekuja kupigana na waisraeli neno la Mungu linasema ya kwamba and god thundered against the philistines Mungu akawa kama gurumo za radi akapigana na wafilisti na wakaweza kuachana uh, kuwapiga wale wa Israeli na walipopiganiwa na Mungu Mungu alipowatorosha wale wa Filisti akawapiga na kuwashinda hapo ndiyo Samueli alichukua jiwe na akalipanda kati ya mispa na sheni akasema umbali huu ni Mungu ametuleta tunaposema mambo ya Ebeneza ama kulipanda jiwe inamaanisha ya kwamba ni kutambua kile Mungu ametufanyia praise the name of the lord kwa hivyo tunaweza sema ya kwamba kusema ebeneza ni kushukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya kile ametutendea kusema ebeneza ni kutambua sio kwa nguvu zetu wala sio kwa uwezo wetu imegarimu mkono wa Bwana kusema ebeneza sio kuangalia mbele Haleluya ni kuangalia nyuma kwa sababu tukiangalia mbele tutaona mambo ambayo tunataka yafanywe na hayajafanywa lakini wakati tunasema ebeneza ni kusimama unaangalia nyuma unaona yale mambo yote ambayo Mungu amekufanyia unaona zile vita amekupigania unaona wakati ulikuwa kwa giza akakupatia mwangaza ukaona wakati haukuwa na njia akakutengenezea njia lakini ukiwa mtu unaangalia tu mbele peke yake unaweza kuwa kwa majaribu 
ya kuona yale mambo ambayo bado hayajatendeka. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Na siku ya leo tunaungana na kikundi cha Women's Guild kusimama mahali ambapo tuko na tuangalie nyuma tuone yale mambo ambayo Mungu ametufanyia. Na sisi zote siku ya leo tutakuwa na sababu ya kupanda jiwe katika maisha yetu na kusema kweli umbali huu Mungu wetu wewe ndiye umetuleta. Praise the name of the Lord. Lakini hata hivyo hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza sema hapa hakuna kitu Mungu amemfanyia sisi zote tumefika umbali kuu kwa sababu Mungu ametusaidia kama Mungu hangekuwa ametusaidia pengine tungemalizwa na magonjwa kama Mungu hangekuwa ametusaidia tungemalizwa na ajali kama Mungu hangekuwa ametusaidia tungemalizwa tungeuawa pengine na blood pressure tungeuawa na stress lakini umbali kuu kila mmoja wetu tuko hapa kwa sababu Mungu wetu ametusaidia. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Lakini wakati mwingine tunakosa kusherehekea Mungu na kumushukuru kwa sababu ya mambo tofauti tofauti. Na moja wapo ya zile sababu husababisha mwanadamu akose kupanda jiwe na kuita Mungu ebeneza na kutambua yale mambo Mungu amemfanyia ni kwa sababu ya kiburi, pride and self reliance. Ya kwamba wakati mwanadamu wako na kiburi anajiona ni nguvu zake ni uwezo wake ni elimu yake ni connection zake anaona ni kana kwamba ana, anajiweza wakati mwingi hata wakati Mungu ametenda mambo kwa maisha yake huwa anaangalia anaona i did this by myself so saingine kiburi na self reliance kujitegemea humsababisha mwanadamu akose kumuita Mungu ebeneza na kuna mfano katika Biblia ya mtu ambaye alijawa na kiburi akakosa kuita Mungu ebeneza kwa sababu ya zile achievement zote alikuwa nazo kuna mtu kama Nebukadineza Biblia inasema ya kwamba katika katika Daniel chapter 4 from verse 30 huyu e, uh, Nebukadineza Mungu alimsaidia lakini yeye hakufanya kama Samueli Samueli waliposaidiwa na Mungu alitambua ni Mungu ametusaidia akamuita Ebeneza lakini Nebukadineza wakati alikuwa mkuu na akajenga Babiloni ukiangalia vasio 30 na 31 anasema ya kwamba is not this the great Babylon that I have built as a royal residence by my mighty power and for the glory of my name hapo utaona ae kadha na mai kadha mimi uwezo wangu nimeijenga kwa utukufu wangu nimeijenga kwa nguvu zangu lakini biblia inasema ya kwamba hata kabla hayo maneno yaishe kwa kinywa chake mungu akanena akasema ya kwamba your royal authority has been removed from you nimekuondolea hayo mamlaka ya kieshima hiyo kwa sababu haukutambua ni mimi na Bukadineza aliona amepiga mataifa mengi na kuyashinda akafikiria ni ukuu wake lakini hakutambua ya kwamba ni Mungu alikuwa amempatia hizo nguvu za kupigana vita na kushinda somebody praise the name of the lord kwa hivyo hata sisi siku ya leo yale mambo Mungu ametuwezesha kufanya wacha tusiwe kama Nebukadineza ambaye alijawa na kiburi akakosa kusema ni Ebeneza kwa sababu aliona ni nguvu zake Nikaambia wale tulikuwa nao asubuhi katika ibada ya Kiingereza. Kuna siku moja tu wakati natayarisha huu ujumbe na nilipoamka asubuhi jambo la kwanza lilianguka kwa moyo wangu. Vile unaamka tu the first thing in a drop in your heart. Nilisikia tu ka sauti kameniambia kiora kiali igio, kiuga ni kio kiali igia. Na nikakumbuka hiyo ka proverb ya kikuyu, shosho yangu walikuwa naisema nikiwa mdogo sana. And God was teaching me vile ambavyo kuna watu ambao wako like this frog. Okay, kwa wale ambao hamuelewi hiyo lugha ya Kikuyu, hiyo kiorakia ligio kiuka gani kiokia ligia. Uh, inamaanisha ya kwamba chura akisaidiwa kuvuka mto, akivuka ule upande mwingine, anasema hata ni mimi nimejisaidia. And God was putting it in my heart. Ya kwamba kuna watu wengi wako kama Nebukadineza, ama wako kama hii chura. 
ambayo imesaidiwa kuvuka mto lakini Mungu akishaisaidia kuvuka mto inasema ni nguvu zangu inasema ni uwezo wangu inasema ni mimi sio kusaidiwa nimesaidiwa na first corinthians chapter 7 and verses 4 huwa inauliza ya kwamba ni nini uko nacho ambacho haukupatiwa na kama ulipatiwa kwa nini unaringa nikana kwamba haukupatiwa nikiwe na kiota hairuo na angekoro ni kuheo wa hairuo re urete ati ata mundu atari kuheo wa hairuo somebody praise the name of the lord si uniangalilie jirani umwambie usikubali kuwa kama hiyo chura yenye mungu akiivukisha inasema ndiyo imefanya nini doga tuweke kiora ke ugai aligagia gacho kageke hora githori gikauga nike ne nie derigia so self reliance inaweza sababisha mtu akose ku akose kusema mungu ni yebeneza na mungu atusaidie tusiwe hivyo mungu alikuwa amewaambia wana wa israeli mtakapojenga manyumba makubwa na mifugo yenu iongezeke akawaambia katika Deuteronomy chapter 8 akawaambia ya kwamba msiseme ni nguvu zenu msiseme ni uwezo wenu msiseme ni nyinyi mmejiwezesha akasema mkumbukeni bwana Mungu wenu ampatiae nguvu za kutengeneza utajiri somebody praise the name of the lord kwa hivyo siku ya leo kila mmoja wetu hakuna mtu anaweza kujipiga kifua aseme ni mimi it has taken the hand of god wewe kufika mahali umefika na chochote ambacho uko nacho yale mambo umeweza kuyafanya it has taken the hand of god kwa hivyo utaungana na sisi wa mama siku ya leo tunaposema jehova ndiye beneza hata wewe hautakubali kukuwa hiyo chura hautakubali kukuwa kama nebukadineza utasema hata mimi leo nasema jehova ndiye beneza somebody praise the name of the lord Jambo lingine ambalo linasababisha watu wakose kusema Jehova ni Ebeneza ni comparison, roho ya kujilinganisha na watu wengine. Na katika Biblia utaona hiyo roho ya watu ambao mtu watu ambao walikuwa na hiyo roho ya kujifananisha. Badala ya kusema Mungu ni Ebeneza, walijifananisha na watu wengine, mioyo yao ikakosa kushukuru Mungu kwa sababu walipojilinganisha na wengine, waliona ni kana kwamba Mungu hajawabariki kama vile amebariki wengine. Ukiangalia katika Mathayo 20, kuna watu ambao Yesu anapeana mfano ya kwamba walikuwa mahali wanangojea wapate kibarua na wakakuja wakakuwa hired, wakapelekwa katika vineyard na walipopelekwa mahali pale ya asubuhi wakaenda kufanya kazi kwa mawazo yangu nitafikiria walipopelekwa shambani walikuwa na furaha wanasema at least leo nimepata kibarua lakini masaa ya jioni yule yule mwenye shamba akaondoka pale akaenda akapata watu wengine walikuwa bado wameka pale hawakuwa wamepata kibarua na yule mwenye shamba akawauliza mnafanya nini hapa wakamwambia kuna mtu ametupatia kibarua akawaambia kujeni muingie katika shamba langu na walipoingia mahali pale ikafika wakati wa kulipwa jioni yule mwenye shamba akaanzia na wale waliingia nyuma somebody praise the name of the lord akawapatia kiasi fulani cha pesa alipofika kwa wale waliingia asubuhi biblia inasema walikuwa na expectation watapatiwa zaidi lakini akawapatia the same amount walipoipokea wakawa wanakasirika wananugunika wakikompea ile wale wamepewa na ile wao wamepewa wakakosa shukurani akawauliza kwa nini mnasikia vibaya kwa sababu ya ukarimu wangu kwa sababu nimebariki huyu na hii na nyinyi nikawabariki na hii kuna watu wengi sana Mungu amekufanyia mambo. Mungu amekufikisha mahali. Lakini hauonagi ile yenye Mungu amekufanyia, unaonaga ile mwingine amefanyiwa. Ukijikompea na yeye, unaona ako mbele kukuliko. Lakini siku ya leo, wakati Samueli walipotendewa, hawakuangalia Mungu amefanyia nini hao wengine, hawakuangalia vile amefanyia hiyo mataifa mengine, walijiangalia wenyewe. They did not compare themselves with what God had done for the other nations. Walijiangalia wao kile Mungu amewatendea and they had a reason to give thanks to the Lord. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Kuna watu wengine ambao wanakosa shukurani. Na inanikumbusha mama fulani ambaye aliniambia vile walikuwa na rafiki na walikuwa wako na mashida wote wanasaidiana. Lakini huyu mama akanunuliwa kaploti na kijana yake. 
Yule mama akaanza kukua na roho mbaya hata amuongelea akamtumanishia akamuliza mbona siku hizi moyo wako ni mzito kwangu akatuma yule aliyetumwa akamuliza ndio arana kona itoga nitakuwa nikiperekana wapi na matajiri yani badala ya furahi ya kwamba mmoja amekuamka anaangalia naona huyo amebarikiwa hata siwezi taka ushirika na yeye my brothers and my sisters if we are going to call god ebeneza we must stop comparing ourselves with others omothe tiga korora kiria ngai ahete ucio ngi rora kiria we akuhete na uiganire no shokie gatho somebody praise the name of the lord kwa sababu kwa hii maisha there will always be somebody who is in front of you hata wale ambao tunaona they are very successful ukiwaendea nao watakwambia kuna mwingine najua hapo mbele ako successful kuniliko ukienda kwa kila mmoja utakuta kuna mwenye yako mbele na ukiishi hiyo maisha ya kujilinganisha na wengine you will never call him Ebenezer but today i challenge everyone ya kwamba tusiangalie hao usijilinganishe Mungu kwa ukarimu wake yeye ndiye huwa anaamua nitapatia huyu hii nitapatia huyu hii ridhika na hiyo umepatiwa umushukuru otige kunegenera ngai ni ndo indo iria hete aciwange somebody praise the name of the lord si uniangalilie jirani umwambie usijilinganishe na mimi wewe shukuru Mungu kwa kile amekupatia don't compare yourself with me no usijilinganishe don't compare kwa sababu comparison inaweza kukusababisha ukose kushukuru Mungu. Nikapeana mfano wa asubuhi ya jambo ambalo nilisikia lilifanyika hapa Nakuru ya a prominent business family ambao uh, mwenye familia aliamua kupea watoto wake inheritance na mmoja wa kijana akapatiwa inheritance ya duka kubwa sitaki kulitaja kwa sababu wengi wenyu wanalijua a multimillion business lakini wakati yule kijana alipatiwa kio biashara na ni biashara ya kitambo inajulikana na kuru yule kijana akakasirika akasema hao wengine wamepewa inheritance kubwa akasema na nyinyi nitafanya kikitu kyenye mtaishi kukumbuka yule kijana alienda akakomit suicide kama ni wengine wetu hapa unajua wengine hatukupewa kakitu Ebu angalia jirani yako muulize wewe kama ungepewa inheritance ya millions biashara ya millions si ungerala chini ukishukuru Mungu lakini huyu kijana kwa sababu ya roho ya comparison hakufurahia ile biashara alipatiwa alienda akajiua kwa sababu gani roho ya comparison somebody praise the name of the lord si Mungu atusaidie ya kwamba turidhike na kile Mungu anatupea tuache kukosa kushukuru kwa sababu ya kile Mungu ametupatia somebody praise the name of the lord jambo lingine ambalo linafanya watu wakose kuita Mungu ebeneza ingawaje ametutendea is focusing on what we don't have somebody praise the name of the lord kwa sababu kila mmoja wetu hapa nikikuuliza utaniambia there is something more that you want God to do for you lakini kuna jambo moja mimi najua kama ule mfano huo unapatiano ya kwamba is the glass half full or half empty ya kwamba nikikuletea glass ikiwa na maji nusu kuna mwingine ataiangalia aseme hata haijaja haleluya na kuna mwingine ataangalia aseme hii glass ni kweli iko na maji iko nusu na kuna watu wengi sana ambao wanaangalia kile Mungu hajafanya hawaangalii hiyo nusu yenye Mungu ameweka kwa maisha yao they always see the glass as half empty instead of half full hawaoni kuna kitu tayari ambayo imewekwa pale ndani na wale watu ambao huwa wana focus on what they don't have they do not give thanks to god huwa hawaiti Mungu ebeneza wakati Mungu alipigania waisraeli wakiwa na akina Samueli Hawakusimama hapo waanze kuambia Mungu ni kweli umetupigania kwa Wafilisti lakini hatuna sapa lakini watoto wetu hawajapata kazi hapana walishukuru kwa kile ambacho wametendewa pasipo kunugunika kwa kile ambacho hawana somebody praise the name of the lord na kuna watu kama lea kwa bibiria walikosa kuona kile Mungu amewapatia wakafocus na kile hawana mtu kama lea kwa biblia tunajua ya kwamba She was not beautiful. Biblia inasema ya kwamba macho yake yalikuwa chongo. So, Mungu hakuwa amempatia beauty. Haleluya. Na hata hakuwa na upendo wa mume wake. 
kwa sababu mume wake aliolewa na Jacob by fire by force hakuwa anataka kumuoa haleluya kwa hivyo hata wakati aliingia kwa hiyo nyumba ya, 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 ya Jacob Jacob hakuwa impenda na kila wakati lea focus yake yote watoto wake watano wa kwanza alikuwa anawaitanisha na kile hana anasema sasa nitapata attention ya mume wangu nimezaa mtoto mmoja anazaa second born anasema ya kwamba sasa nitapata kibali kwa mume wangu kwa sababu sijawahi ipata anapata mtoto watatu anasema ya kwamba sasa nitadhibitika kwa mume wangu alikuwa anaangalia zile vitu hana lakini wakati alifika sixth born akaacha kuangalia the empty part of her glass akaangalia kile yako nacho na akasema ya kwamba this time I will praise the Lord. Akaita huyo mtoto aliyemzaa akamuita Judah. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Saa zingine tunakuwa so lost kwa yale mambo ambayo hatuna. Tunakosa kushukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya ile kitu ambayo tuko nayo. Ni kweli Lea hakuwa na beauty. Ni kweli hakuwa na upendo wa Jacob, but she had a fertile womb. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Tumbo lake lilikuwa linashika mimba hata wewe siku ya leo. Yawezekana kuna vitu hauna but your life is not empty. Your life is not empty. Stop focusing on what you don't have. Leo tunataka to focus na kile tuko nacho na tumwambie Mungu asante. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Kila mmoja wetu kama tunaweza angalia maisha yetu, hakuna mtu anaweza simama aseme hakuna kitu Mungu amenitendea, hakuna kitu Mungu amenipatia. There is something that God has deposited in our glasses. Katika glasi ya maisha yetu kuna kitu Mungu ameweka. Hata kama hiyo glasi haijaja, haiko empty. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Si uniangalilie jirani umwambie hata kama glasi yako haijaja, it is not empty. Muangalie tena umwambie though your glass is not full, but it is not empty. Thank God. Shukuru Mungu leo pamoja na sisi. Sema leo Mungu ni Ebenezer kwa sababu ya hiyo nusu ameweka katika maisha yako. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Kila sisi zote tukiangalia nyuma, tutaona kweli glasi zetu haziko empty kwa sababu kuna kitu ambayo Mungu ameweka ndani yetu. Jambo lingine ambalo linaweza zuia mtu aseme Mungu ni Ebenezer na ninataka detail na hizi vizuizi zote ndio ikifika saa ya kusema Mungu ni Ebeneza kila mmoja wetu akuwe na sababu ya kusema pamoja nasi that the Lord is Ebeneza is despising small beginnings kudharau mwanzo mdogo ama zile vitu ndogo ambazo Mungu anaweka kwa maisha yetu kwa lugha ya kikuyu tunaweza sema roho wa kuobia yani you know kuobia yani ka kitu yani haka tu ndio umenipea haka tu haka tu somebody praise the name of the lord na kwa biblia kuna watu walikuwa na hiyo samueli wakati mungu alimtendea hakudharau hiyo muujiza alifanyiwa hakusema ni kidogo aliichukua vile ilivyo akashukuru mungu somebody praise the name of the lord maybe walikuwa na mahitaji milioni moja hakusema hii ni kidogo sana mungu umefanya na tulikuwa na mahitaji milioni moja alishukuru hata kama ilikuwa ndogo. Si Biblia inasema katika Zekaria chapter 4 and verses 10, do not despise the humble beginnings. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Katika John kuna watu kwa Biblia walikuwa na hiyo roho, rohosho wako bia kudharau hizo vitu ndogo. Katika John chapter 6 and verses 9, kuna mtu anaitwa Andrew. Siku moja wameenda nyikani na hawana chakula ya kupea watu. Kisha Wanaanza kutafuta ni nani yako na kitu. Wakakuta kijana ako na mikate tano na ako na samaki wawili. Andro alipozishika, alienda akaambia Yesu, "What is this among so many? We have 5000 people to feed. This is too little. What is this?" Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Akamwambia lete, hiyo yenye unasema what is this ni lete. Yesu alipoichukua hakuuliza what is this hakusema haitoshi hakusema ni kidogo Biblia inasema ya kwamba hiyo yenye Andrew alikuwa anauliza what is this Yesu aliichukua akashukuru haleluya aliposhukuru ni nini ilifanyika iliongezeka somebody praise the name of the lord haleluya will you be like Andrew kwa ile kitu kidogo Mungu amekufanyia badala ya kumshukuru unauliza what is this god What kind of a job is this? 
What kind of a family is this? What is this? Whereas we are supposed to take it as literal as it is, we lift it to the Lord. Mwambie Mungu si kuwa nayo. Hata hii kidogo ni wewe umenipatia. Wewe ni Ebenezer kwa hii kidogo. Pokea shukurani za moyo wangu. Kuna mtu mwingine alikuwa pia na hiyo roho ya kuuliza what is this? Anadharau vitu ndogo. Katika 1 Kings chapter 9 and verse 13, anaitwa King Hiram. Hakuwa na shukurani kwa sababu alidharau vitu zilikaa ndogo. Huyu King Hiram alipatiwa 10 cities in Gadi na King Solomon. Solomon alikuwa anataka kumshukuru kwa sababu alikuwa amempatia mbao za kujenga na alikuwa amempatia dhahabu. Lakini King Hiram alipoambiwa aende akaone the 10 cities, alitumania Solomon katika 1 Kings chapter 9 and verse 13, akamuuliza, "What is this you have given me my brother?" Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Roho wa kudharau, kama ni wewe saizi mtu akikupatia 10 cities, si utashukuru. Kwa sababu sio yeye alienda kupigana vita, sio yeye alienda kukapta those cities, lakini kile kilifanya King Hiram azidharao, as even if they was the, zingekuja kukua vitu nzuri baadaye, ni kwa sababu they were undeveloped, hazikuwa developed, zilikuwa hazijajengwa sana, na kama unaweza kumbuka in the New Testament, utakuta mahali kuingi sana kwenye Yesu alienda katika miji ya gariri, so ilikuja kukua developed baadaye lakini Hiramu alidharau because it was in its humble beginnings somebody praise the name of the lord unajua wakati Mungu anakupatia vitu saa zingine anakupatia raw material uende ukatengeneze kenye unataka kutengeneza Mungu hakutengeneza ndege alitengeneza ndege si alitupatia tu raw material sisi ndio tunaenda tukitengenezaga ndege ni nani anazaaga mtoto graduate kunae Sisi zote tunazaa watoto, tunawa develop, tunawapeleka shule, wanakuwa kitu. So sometimes God will give you something so that you may develop it. Na kama amekupatia kama sio developed, wacha kuuliza Mungu ni nini hii? Kuna wengi sana wanauliza Mungu. Sasa hii ni kazi ya aina gani Mungu ulinipatia? Sasa hawa ni watoto wa aina gani wenye ulinipatia? Sasa huyu ni bibi wa aina gani ulinipatia? Wacha nikwambie, unaona huyo bibi unaona kama sio mtu. Leo ukimpeleka mahali Arafu uende uandike kibao kikubwa wife on offer utaona ni watu wangapi watapanga laini hapo I tell you the truth uende uandike yako on offer na ujue ni ukweli ni vile tu hatuongeagi wa mama hata wale mmezeeka kiasi bado si kuna watu wanawachokoza na hapo nje kuongea ukweli hata wale wamefikisha 50 sio tia kwamba wame expire bado kuna watu wanawaulizaga ni aje tunaweza hook up we unaweza ona si mtu hata ukimwangalia unauliza kama Andrew what is this na sio wa mama peke yake hata mzee mama anaweza kuwa anauliza Mungu na ni wengi sana wanauliza Mungu hiyo what kind of a husband is this you gave me do una mudhuri wa nako ngai wa heire eke gwire mudhuri ucio roria ni mudhuri wa nako mutware thoko wandike husband on offer wone ma singles mari amekwara line Na kama hauniamini, si hivi karibuni kuna wakati kumefanywa mkutano wa singles Nairobi, wakiwa wameita single ladies ambao wanataka husbands walijaza kasarani. Haukusikia hiyo maneno? Si ni yule unabi inasema ya kwamba wanawake saba watajishikiria mwanaume mmoja wakimwambia hata si pesa zako tunataka tunataka tu tuitanishagwe na wewe na wewe hapo unashindaga ukiambia Mungu what is this I challenge you today that husband may not be perfect that wife may not be perfect but thank God tikaka koragi angainike geke wa heide oh somebody praise the name of the Lord yawezekana he is undeveloped yawezekana she is undeveloped hata wewe mu develop hallelujah somebody praise the name of the Lord ne wacha ni kuambie ulipata wakukuoa ebu thank God Mimi niko kwa huduma na nikwambie zile prayer items niko nazo za wadada wanataka husband zile niko nazo siwezi kukuhesabia haleluya kuna singles wengi hata wako na sura mzuri kukuliko walikutana tu na watu wa kuwadanganya wakawazalisha watoto lakini hawakutaka kuwaoa we waahikirio ta ithero manengo kuhikia mahikia no kehika mwena ciana Na mugatura. Ebu thank God for that man. 
Ebu thank God for that woman. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Na pengine wale wako single wanaweza sema, sasa na mimi nitashukuru Mungu nini? Na nilizalishwa watoto. Wale tu ninapataga ni wale tu wanataka tu kucheza na maisha yangu. Oh, pengine ulizalishwa watoto na ukaachwa, hata una sababu ya kushukuru Mungu. Kuna wamama wanatafuta watoto na hawana. Thank God for those children. Thank God that he has given you strength kulea hao watoto. Haukukosa kuwalea kwa sababu uliachwa na diposa nasema hakuna mwenye hana sababu ya kupanda jiwe leo na amwambie wewe Mungu ni Ebenezer. And to thank God kwa kile ambacho ameleta kwa maisha yetu. Even if the cities may not be developed who your wife see developed hakuangi amechanuka chanua yeye chanua yeye hajui kupika anapikaga mashakura sawa pereka yeye kakoska kupika na wewe ukiperekwa perekeka kubali somebody praise the name of the lord hallelujah hajui kuvaa pereka yeye boutique develop her nunulia yeye nguo mzuri ukimpatia 1000 aende akanunue nguo ama 1500 anaenda ananunua ya 1000 anakuangusha class Perekana na yeye enda kwa hiyo botiki unaendaga kama unaendaga unanunua 10k hata yeye nunulia yeye na nikasema asubuhi hata yeye akivaa hiyo hawezi jikuna haleluya na sio mama peke yake kama ni mzee usidevelop ukiwa peke yako mimi nimeona wengi kuna moja tulikuwa tunaishi na yeye njoro huyu mama ako smart kila sunday ni wale wanashonesha nguo every now and then na husband yake alikuwa mtu anahusika na kutengeneza magari Unakuta nguo za huyo mzee nyingi mpaka za kanisani ni zile zimejaa oil. Na mama huku amerembeka kurembeka. Shetani yashindwe. Mungu hajatuita tukue hivyo. If you are developing, Mungu alikupatia hiyo city kama sio developed, kubali ku develop. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Ndio usianguke kwa majaribu ya kusindikishaga wadada na macho. Yaani unasindikisha, unasindikisha. Hiyo kitu unaonaga unasindikisha, pereka huyo bibi yako kwenye zinatengenezeagwa. Ni nywere, pereka yeye huko zinatengenezeagwa. Develop her. Na wewe mama, ukiperekwa, perekeka. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Ukipewa dhao ya Sarun, wacha kwenda kwa ile unalipaga 200 unashukwa nywere zinakaa kuhurumiwa. Ukipangwa pangika. Haleluya. If you are being developed, kubali ku developika. Haleluya. Ndiyo hata huyu mtu hata akishukuru ana shukuru Mungu ni kweli she was undeveloped ni memdevelop haleluya lakini asilalamike kama hajakudevelop kama shida ni mapishi apeleka yeye ka training kadogo afundishwe kupika amkubali kupata with something kwa sababu wezi acha 200 na ungoje upikiwe bufe kubali kulipa gharama oh somebody praise the name of the lord Usidharau hizo vitu ndogo ambazo Mungu ameweka kwa maisha yako ingawaje ziko chini zitengeneze zikuwe bora kwa sababu urembo ni gara Oh somebody praise the name of the Lord Nilipokuwa nikiandika hiyo nilikumbuka wimbo ilikuwa inaimbwa Mudhuri Gadha Wanasema Mudhuri Gadha ni amenyagerera muka wake akamuhuba wega gekatia akadhakara eh kama hajadhakara humba yeye akuwe mudhaka and it shall be well praise the name of the lord akamoni yawega gatunguha akanora hau ginya mwangi waje nie na wira waga wa kiona kenda ri aranora but what is my point today it may look like a joke but this is my point ya kwamba tushukuru mungu kwa vitu hata kama ziko ndogo and we develop them if they are not what if they are not developed na hiyo sio ya wazee peke yake ya kwamba wana develop the wife haleluya kama hajui kukula na na, na kisu wewe mpeleke mahali atajua social etiquette mpeleke tu kakos kadogo haleluya isikuwe ati uwezi mpeleka mahali dina ya job kwa sababu anakaa kama ni yule sister yako mzee kwa sababu ile maisha anakaa na ile wewe muko dunia mbili tofauti ya kwamba hata mukisimama na yeye mamoda angiuga ne waku no ugire ni sister yako ule ya mokoro you, you are living in two different worlds hallelujah naye akisaidiwa kwa sababu both the wife and the, the husband wanafaa ku develop each other grow together wewe usikuwe una grow na unaacha huyo mwingine proverbs 31 yule mwanamke wa proverbs 31 biblia inasema nini ni mfanyibiashara maarufu ananunua mashamba lakini she is not growing alone 
as she grows, Bibiri nasema ya kwamba, mume wake anaheshimiwa at the gate. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Wakati anashonea watoto wake manguo za katani, hata mume wake anavaa masweta, sijui wanaziita aje kwa Bibiria, she is not developing alone. Lakini shida inaweza kuwa, when you are trying to develop somebody who is not ready to be developed. Nikapeana asubui kuhusu uh, mtu fulani, ambaye mi naweza sema hako na roho ya Ben 10. Uh, the, the, there is a generation haijui Ben 10 ni nini. Ben 10 ni wale wanaume ambao wanataka kufugwa. Hawataki kufanya kazi. Na wako, na kama hiyo example, huyo mama alikuwa mjamzito. Ye ndia meishi kubeba mzigo wa jamii yake. And at some point, alikuwa mjamzito. Na tuka murumia, tuka shindu wa sasa hui msichana akirudi kwa nyumba. Watoto wake watafanya aje. Muse wake tukaanza kumtafutia kakazi. Na tukapata ya mjengo. Urajua alianza kusema nini? Sijui na umu wanakichua. Siku hiyo ingine, na umu wanakifua. Mwenye kazi ya kamuambia, we are going to give you lighter duties. Kwa sababu ni meelewa hali yako vile ilivyo. Hali kata kuenda kazi, anajikoko hiya tu. Excuses, excuses. Mbaka mara ya mwisho, sasa huyo jamari kuwa na mpea kazi ya kasema, huyo mtu hayuko serious, hiyo ni roho ya Ben 10. Kama ni wife na kudeverop, kubali kudeverop. Kama ni husband na kudeverop, hata wea kubali kudeverop. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Muke wake baada ya kurudi kwa nyumba, haka muambia, sasa, sinasikiaka kuna hizi motobike unaenda unachukua, and then unalipa pole pole. Haka muambia, sasa hata nikichukua, sinasteji ya kubebea. Mwudu toshu wangeta hithe kate ya. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Nilikuwa kwa, do not despise small things. Hizo vitu kidogo mungu wame kupatia, kubali kuzinua kama vile Yesu alinua. Hiyo samaki wawili na mikate mitano na mungu wakaziongeza. The last one ambayo nitaongea on that, sababu zenye zinazuia watu wainue mawe kama vile Samueli alinua. Haka sema ya kwamba Jehovah ni Ebeneza is simply bad manners. Bad manners. Kwa sababu, sisi wengi wetu hapa ni wazazi. Na wakati mtoto wako wamepatiwa kitu na mtu, unamuambia ya kwamba, uende useme nini? Asante. Na yule mtoto wasiposema asante, hata unaweza muita na hapo nyuma ya hema. Na unachuna yeye mbili ya matatu. Unamuambia yu nitabia mbaya sana, ukipewa kitu na mtu unafaa kusema asante. Lakini there are so many Christians, there are so many human beings, ambao mungu anatufanyia mambo mengi, lakini tunakuwa hatuna shukurani. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Now we have every reason. Wakati unakuta hawezi angalia, na useme ya kwamba mungu ni yebeneza, ni ye ya mekusaidia mahali. There is a problem somewhere. Kuna lack of good manners as far as spirituality is concerned. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Lakini kiangalia hapa sioni watu wakona bad manners. By the time we are finishing this service, everybody will be telling the Lord, you are Ebenezer. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Na tunaweza jiuliza ni napoenda kumalizia. How do we give thanks? Kwa sababu kuna njia tofauti tofauti za kumuambia mungu ni nini? Yeye ni Ebenezer. Katika second reading yetu, tutaona njia tofauti tofauti za kumuambia mungu ni Ebenezer. Kwa sababu saa zingine siyo maneno peke yake, ambayo tunahitaji to tell God that he is Ebenezer, ku acknowledge na ku appreciate yale mambo ambayo mungu ametufanyia. Katika second reading, wanaambiwa ya kwamba, kwa sababu siku za mwisho zimekaribia, jambo la kwanza na wambia ya kwamba, be alert and sober in your mind so that you may pray. Wanakuwa encouraged waendele kwa maombi. Njia ya maombi ni moja wapo ya njia ya kumuambia mungu asante. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Unaomba, unainama, unamuambia mungu asante. Unatoa maombi ya kumuambia buwana asante. Njia nyingine tunaweza mshukuru mungu nayo is to love each other. Ukikumbuka ya kwamba hata wewe mwenyewe Ni kupendu wa mungu wa mekupenda. You reciprocate the love of God. Si wewe ya mekupenda. Si wewe ya mekuhurumia. Si wewe mungu wa mekutendea, mekuonyesha upendo. Na wewe unaweza muambia mungu wa sante. Kwa njia ya kuwaonyesha wengine upendo. Ndiyo nao waweze kuonja upendo wa mungu. Hiyo ingine ni offer hospitality to one another. Wakambiwa ya kwamba wawe wakarimu mtu kwa nini? kwa mwingine. Njia ya ukarimu pia ni njia ya kumuambia mungu wa sante. Si hata wewe mungu wa mekua mkarimu kwako. Ni vitu vingi sana mungu wa mekupatia, ha mekukirimia. Unaweza tuwa shukurani zako kwa mungu kwa kuwa mkarimu kwa watu wengine. 
lakini ukarimu usikuwa ni ule ambao wa broadcasting kwa sababu neno la Mungu limepeana guidelines kama unakuwa mkarimu kwa mtu usiende ukitangaza ukisoma katika madhayo sita na mstari wa tatu. inasema ya kwamba wakati unafanya acts of mercy wakati unakuwa mkarimu kwa muhitaji kama ni mkono hii imetoa hii mkono ingine isijue somebody praise the name of the lord lakini unajua mara nyingi tunakuwa kama wanasiasa ukifanya ka kitu unai broadcast do you know what the bible says if you do that you have already received your reward dugaetarara iga irenge kuri ngai ungiheana ucoke uthi uke broadcast gi kirathimo giaku ni wegira nakio na kirathimo giaku ni kuganuo ithi andu mationa githe matia kugana he undu ungi uragifatara ithi ndukwendaga kuganuo waganuo ni kwa igana but the bible says wakati unafanya ukarimu especially kwa a need person unajua kuna mwingine akikufanyia kitu hakuna mtu hata jua hata mkiwa na watu wamekupatia kanguo kazuri na hiyo nguo yangu upikage pasi vizuri unajua mimi nimekaa nayo 15 years na unaona bado iko mzuri sasa wewe vile unakaa nayo hivi baada ya mwaka mmoja hapo wapata kuwa nguo haleluya praise the name of the lord ukikuwa mkarimu nyama Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Na njia ya ukarimu is also a way of telling God thank you. Wewe kwamba Mungu amekukirimia, Mungu amekutenda wema, amekupea. Unamwambia Mungu na mimi nitakushukuru kwa kuwapea wengine. Ndio wakushukuru pia ya kwamba umewabariki kunipitia. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Alafu hiyo nyingine ni uh, inasema ya kwamba serve each other. Hallelujah. Pia njia ya kutumika na kutumikia watu wengine ni njia ya kumwambia Mungu ni Ebenezer na ni njia ya kumshukuru Mungu. Unaweza kumbuka hana wakati Mungu alimpatia mtoto ndio aseme ni Ebenezer ni wewe umenifikisha hapo. Ndio amwambie asante. Hana hakuenda tu akakaa hivyo. Hana alisema ya kwamba huyu mtoto umenipatia nitakutolea wewe awe akikutumikia kwa nyumba yako. We can also tell God he is Ebenezer. We can offer our thanksgiving by offering ourselves to service in the house of God. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Isikuwe tu hata ni maneno matupu ya kwamba asante sana Mungu kwa hiyo umetenda. Unaweza iongezea kwa haya mambo nimekwambia. Unaamua kwa sababu ya vile Mungu umenitendea nitakuwa nikienda hiyo ushirika. Kwa sababu ya vile Mungu umenitendea nitakuwa nikikufanyia 1 2 3 and it is very good wakati ambapo tunaamua ya kwamba ule ukarimu Mungu ametuonyesha we are going to serve him in the name of Jesus Christ. Pia tunaweza kumshukuru Mungu kwa sadaka ya shukurani. Haleluya. Unakumbuka hata hana wakati alipoenda kwa nyumba ya Mungu hakuenda mkono mtupu hata hakupeleka Samueli peke yake kuna dhabihu alibeba ya kwenda kumpatia Mungu shukurani. Namaliza kwa kusema hivi wapendwa. Kila mmoja wetu the Lord is Ebenezer. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Na by the way kumwambia Mungu ni Ebenezer na kupanda jiwe na kukumbuka ya kwamba ni Mungu amekufikisha hapo kuna faida zingine zinakufuata. Few benefits of telling God he is Ebenezer all thanking God one is increase wakati unapomwambia Mungu ni Ebenezer na unamshukuru kuna kuwa na ongezeko wakati ali, Yesu alishukuru kwa sababu ya mikate mitano na samaki wawili ni nini ilifanyika there was increase ona we washokia gatho na werega ni Ebenezer ni egukuongerera haleluya no anegana ni to utonini ona to utonini ni ekugira haleluya The other benefit is there is wholeness and perfection. Tumesema ya kwamba Mungu anatupatia vitu zingine zikiwa undeveloped, zikiwa sio perfect, kama vile ambavyo maybe amekupea watoto they are not perfect, amekupea wife, amekupatia husband, amekupatia business, amekupatia job, but all these things are not perfect. When you give thanks for what he has given you, he will make them whole and perfect. Unakumbuka the leper, yule the leper ambaye kati ya kumi wale waliponywa si ni mmoja alirudi kupeana shukurani aliporudi ni nini ilifanyika aliambiwa i have made you whole be whole unakumbuka ule ugonjwa wa ukoma ulikatakata watu sehemu za mwili wakati Yesu alimwambia akuwe whole hizo sehemu ambazo zilikuwa zimekuliwa na na ukoma ziliweza kurudishwa just because of thanksgiving Ashwa gemaho nilio but they were not made whole somebody praise the name of the lord 
Ni nini hizo ambazo unaona bado sio whole kwa maisha yako? Ni kweli kuna kahili nikamekuja, but there is no wholeness. There is no perfection. When you thank God, there will be wholeness and there will be perfection. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. When we give thanks, when we tell the Lord that he is Ebenezer, he will add to us things that we have not asked for. Atakuongezea vitu zingine zenye hata hujaombea. Huyu mwenye ukoma wakati alikuja kushukuru, aliombea nini? Nataka tusemezane nikimaliza. This leper, huyu huyu mwenye ukoma, huyu mmoja mwenye alirudi kushukuru. Baada ya kushukuru kuna kitu aliombea. Tusemezane kanisa, kuna kitu aliombea. Alikuja tu kushukuru, lakini aliongezewa vitu ha kuombea kwa sababu ya shukurani ndio aliongezewa perfection and wholeness. Hata wewe ukishukuru Mungu na umwambie ni Ebenezer kuna vitu ataongeza katika maisha yako. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Na mahali kuna shukurani there will be elevation. Niliwatajia mambo ya ya Juda, the son of Leah. Juda Mungu alisema kuhusu Juda ambaye Lea alishukuru Mungu kwa sababu yake. Akasema this time I will praise the Lord. Mungu alisema nini kuhusu that Juda? Ya kwamba kutoka kwa nyumba yako Juda hakutawahi toka fimbo ya ufalme. Daudi alizaliwa katika nyumba ya Yuda. Yesu alizaliwa in the same lineage. Juda was elevated above his brothers. Where there is thanksgiving there will be elevation somebody praise the name of the lord na maliza na kuambia hivi wapendwa we have a reason to thank god kila mmoja wetu tuna sababu ya kuungana na wamama wa women's guild kusema ya kwamba mungu wetu ni ebeneza ingawaje hatuna kila kitu ambayo tunataka na kila kitu ambayo tunahitaji lakini there is a lot that the lord has done for us yawezekana ni kubwa yawezekana ni ndogo tukiondoa tu roho wa pride tusiseme ni sisi Tukiondoa roho wa comparison tusijiringanishe na mtu tuna sababu ya kumwambia yeye ni Ebenezer. Tukiondoa ile roho ya kudharau vitu vidogo oh tutakuwa na sababu ya kumwambia ya kwamba yeye ni Ebenezer. Si tusimame mbele za Bwana siku ya leo. Tuungane pamoja na wamama na tuungane na hawa wana wa Israeli waliposema ya kwamba wa umbali huu Bwana wewe ndiye umenileta. Na tumesema ya kwamba hakuna mtu maisha yake iko empty. Yawezekana you don't have everything you want and everything you need, but you have a reason to thank the Lord. Si tuchukue mikono yetu kwa dakika mbili. Nataka kila mmoja wetu tu nataka uangalie nyuma, usiangalie mbele na na si literary as per se ati muangalie upande ule na kwa maisha yako I want you to look back na uone umbali ambao Mungu amekuleta na umwambie ya kwamba wewe Bwana ni Ebeneza. Nataka tu uchukue maneno yako mwenyewe, maneno yako mwenyewe. Na usikue huyo mtu ambayo tumesema ya kwamba ni kukosa nidhamu. Tusiwe na mmoja atakosa nidhamu katika uwepo wa Bwana, akose kupeana shukurani. Tusiwe na mmoja ambaye atadharau vitu vidogo ambayo Bwana amefanya kwa maisha yake. Hebu chukua nafasi yako mwambie Bwana asante, asante. Asante kwa umbali huu, asante kwa umbali huu. Tell God thank you for this far. Thank you for this far. Yawezekana huyo mume sio perfect, lakini hauna ile aibu ya kwamba wewe ndio ulienda kuzurura. Wewe Mungu amekusaidia. Si umwambie Mungu thank you. Yawezekana huyo wife sio perfect. Si you just tell the Lord Mwambie thank you Lord this far this far you have brought me wengine mumesomesha watoto katikati ya kungengana kukubwa hata watu walikuangalia ukipeleka watoto secondary ukipeleka university wakauliza umepeleka ukalipe na nini lakini si umwambie bwana wewe ni Ebenezer wewe ni Ebenezer wewe ni Ebenezer wewe ni Ebenezer si kuna wazazi ambao wanalia saa hizi kwa sababu ya watoto wao lakini nataka umwambie bwana Asante niko na watoto. Asante niko na watoto. Ni kweli hawako perfect, but I thank you that I have children. I thank you Lord. I thank you Lord. Yawezekana uko na biashara na una Iran na maloan mengi na inakusumbua na saa zingine unashindwa ni nini hii? Si umwambie Bwana ninakushukuru. Niko na kuona handu hakuroka. Tell God thank you. Tell God thank you. Mwambie umbali huu wewe ni Ebenezer. Umbali huu wewe ni Ebenezer. Wacha itoke kwa moyo wako. Wacha itoke kwa moyo wako. Usiseme kwa sababu jina amehubiri. Let it be from your heart. Look back and see what the Lord has done. Mungu wetu tunakushukuru. 
kwa sababu tunaungana na Waisraeli wanaposema ya kwamba wewe ni Ebenezer tunasema kuna vita vingi umetupigania pokea sifa na shukurani kwa sababu wewe ni mwaminifu tunakushukuru bwana kwa sababu ya kila wakati ambao tulipitia katika giza lakini ukakuwa mwangaza wetu tunakushukuru bwana kwa sababu ya wakati ambao tulikuwa katika ukosefu lakini ukakuwa jire tunakushukuru bwana kwa sababu ya wakati tulikuwa katika aibu lakini ukaondoa aibu zetu tunakushukuru kwa sababu wakati tulikuwa hatuna kazi ulitupatia kazi za kufanya tunakushukuru wale ambao tuko na ndoa kwa sababu ya zile ndoa tuko nazo yawezekana sio perfect lakini we thank you for the opportunity to raise our children in families na wale ambao bwana hawako katika ndoa si ni wewe bado umewasaidia uliwasaidia kulea watoto katikati ya changamoto nyingi katikati ya uchungu mwingi lakini bwana umetusaidia tunasimama mbele zako kusema ya kwamba wewe ni yebeneza inua mikono yako tuseme pamoja tunapomwambia ya kwamba wewe ni yebeneza si umwambie kama mara tano umwambie jehova wewe ni yebeneza jehova wewe ni yebeneza jehova wewe ni yebeneza mwambie hakuna kitu niko nacho ambayo sio wewe umenipatia gotire kendo dena kiwatare na we no we ohete gotire kendo dena kiotahete mwambie bwana i thank you hakuna kitu niko nacho ambacho sio wewe umenipatia ile mali niko nayo ni wewe umenipatia oh ile elimu niko nayo ni wewe umenipatia ile biashara niko nayo ni wewe umenipatia ile plot niko nayo ni wewe umenipatia hiyo nyumba ya kukomboa niko nayo ni wewe unaniwezeshanga kulipa chakula ile ninakula maji ninakunywa mavazi ninayova ni wewe umenipatia ninakuita ebeneza bwana kwa makubaliano na kanisa lako tunakuita ebeneza tunasema sio kwa nguvu sio kwa uwezo Sio kwa bidii yetu ni kwa mkono wako tumefika hapo tumefika sio kwa sababu tunajua kuliko wengine sio kwa sababu tuko na connection kuliko wengine sio kwa sababu ya elimu yetu sio kwa sababu ya mali yetu oh sio kwa sababu nyingine bwana sio kwa urembo sio kwa connection tunasema ni wewe umetusaidia pokea sifa utukufu na heshima Tunakushukuru kwa sababu kila moja wetu bwana our glasses are not empty they may not be full yes. but they are not empty yes, yes. tunakushukuru kwa kila kitu umeweka kwa glasi ya maisha yetu umeweka uhai na neno lako linasema ni heli mbu aliye uhai kuliko simba aliyekufa si umetupatia uhai bwana na kuna mambo mengine mengi umeweka kwa maisha yetu Leo tunaangalia yale umetenda sio yale ambayo haujatenda. Leo tunaangalia mahali umetufikisha sio mahali tunaenda. We focus on the fire you have brought us oh God and our hearts are full of thanksgiving. Receive all the glory, the honor and the adoration. Today we call you Ebeneza. Tusaidie tukutumikie tunapokushukuru. Tusaidie kuwa wakarimu kwa wengine ikiwa njia ya kukushukuru tusaidie kuwapenda wengine ili kuwaonyesha ule upendo uliotupenda nao tusaidie bwana kutumia wakati na wewe katika maombi ikiwa njia ya kukushukuru we love you lord and we praise you because you are a good and faithful god watumishi wako hawa wako na mahitaji bwana unajua mahitaji yao wale mioyo yao imeinama inua mioyo yao wale wamekimbizwa na maadui zao wapiganie kwa maadui zao wale wanatafuta kazi wapatie wale wako katika ndoa zilizo na changamoto bwana ponya ndoa zao kwa sababu ya utukufu wa jina lako wale bwana wana mahitaji tofauti may you meet them at the point of their needs wagonjwa waponye kwa sababu wewe ni mwaminifu wanaolia sababu ya watoto wao wabadilishie watoto bwana kwa kuwa wewe ni mwema pokea sifa utukufu na heshima kwa kuwa wewe ni mwaminifu na ni katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na kushukuru situmpatie bwana Yesu makofi mazuri haleluya na kisha uniangalilie jirani umwambie your glass is not empty 
Muangalie tena mwambie your glass is not empty. Mwambie wacha kuangalia watu wengine. Mwambie hata wewe Mungu amekubariki. Praise the name of the Lord. Mwangalie umwambie nike we na kio taheirwo. Mwira dukanete yeto taheirwo. Chokageria ngai gatho. Ni ndo wa kuria kuhete. Praise the name of the Lord. Na ya mwisho kabisa sisi wote tukue wa Kristo wenye nidhamu. Mungu yale ametutendea. Tunashukuru. God bless you.